how your karmic memory is, that is how you will respond or react to the inputs or the stimuli that comes to you through the five senses of seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling and touching. Only if you clean your energy system of karmic imprint, can you change your destiny. This is why yogic kriyas are important. There is something called as cognition and then recognition and then reaction. This part of reaction or response is the dimension that human beings have the ability to take charge of. This is a sure way to be able to craft your destiny just the way you want it. Destiny is not a fixed destination, it is what you create. As most part of human perception and experience, unfortunately, is happening unconsciously. Destiny seems like it's a fixed destination. One cannot create their own destiny without the necessary striving. Those who are not willing to pay the price of striving to create what truly matters to them will think destiny is imposed upon them. The destiny of individual experience and freedom, the destiny of social justice, the destiny of a national or global well-being has to be strived for without striving, without paying the price of striving. One will not have the privilege of crafting their destiny. As individuals, as a generation of people, the greatest joy is in being able to craft our own destiny. May you know the power, the freedom and the joy of crafting your own destiny. Only if you clean your energy system of karmic imprint, can you change your destiny. This is why yogic kriyas are important, because once there is a certain imprint of memory upon your energy systems, how much ever you try, you tend to get into the same rut again and again. So the idea of doing kriyas is to clean your energy system of karmic imprint so that there is no internal software which is going against your present will as to how you want to do this. So always there is a question, is it a free will or is it a destiny? You must understand your destiny, what you think is your destiny, is written by you unconsciously. So it's time to write this consciously. For this, the cleaning of the energy system of your karmic imprint is most crucial and this is why daily sadhana is of great significance. If you compulsively react, external situations determine how you are right now. If you consciously respond, your well-being is very much in your hands. What is significant about being human is that we need not be animals of compulsive reaction. We can be a conscious response to everything in our lives, not only external situations, even physiological and psychological situations. The moment you become a conscious response to all this, you become the master of your own destiny. Whether it is happiness or unhappiness, pain or pleasure, agony or ecstasy, essentially it happens from within. The seat of human experience is within us. The cameras may be outside, 
The microphones may be outside, but the drama happens only within us, even in terms of external impressions. Based on the external impressions, if you are in a compulsive state of reaction, your experience of that imprint takes shape from the basis of your past experience or to put it more technically, it is based on your karmic memory. How your karmic memory is, that is how you will respond or react to the inputs or the stimuli that comes to you through the five senses of seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling and touching. You like something or dislike something is essentially dependent upon past experience of life that may be in your conscious memory or not, but somewhere deep down it is there for you to make that judgment. Because between cognition and recognition, there has to be memory, otherwise recognition will not happen. If you hear this and then you say, oh, this is a dog barking, this is only because you have heard dogs barking before, otherwise you would be confused. You listen to something and say, oh, this is an automobile. Well, this is only possible because you've heard automobiles before. If a sound that you have never heard before happens to you, then you will be confused because there is no karmic imprint of that sort. So we must understand this, there is something called as cognition and then recognition and then reaction. This part of reaction or response is the dimension that human beings have the ability to take charge of. That is, you can either be an instinctive karmic reaction or a conscious response. Once you manage to become a conscious response to every stimuli that's thrown at you, it doesn't matter what kind of stimuli comes to you, once it's a conscious response, you can make the experience of your life the way you want it. That is, the stimuli, the external situations will not determine the nature of your experience, you will determine the nature of your experience. This is a sure way to be able to craft your destiny just the way you want it or to become a master of your own destiny. This is important to understand that you have to move from compulsive reaction to a conscious response.